Another lawsuit has been filed over a death at the Monterey County Jail. This is the sixth wrongful death suit since March of 2021. Action News 8 reporter Paul Dudley has been following this and he has an update for us tonight. This newest lawsuit officially filed on Thursday names Monterey County Sheriff Tina Nieto and the private health care provider WellPath, among others. The family of Jose Garcia Penawaje filed the lawsuit saying the death of the 47-year-old King City man was preventable. In July of 2023, Penawaje was arrested after acting erratically at his home while under the influence of meth. Reports which were hidden by Monterey County show that he was suicidal when he arrived at the jail. Deputies put him in a holding cell. A few minutes after entering that cell, he wrapped a mounted payphone cord around his neck. Deputies found his body about an hour later. The report says Penawahe should have been enrolled in a program for methamphetamine withdrawal. Staff should have referred him for immediate psychiatric evaluation and hospitalization for his suicidal ideations, and that staff should have intervened to stop his death. The whole thing was recorded on video. It's unclear if anyone was watching. We spoke to Penawahe's lawyer, Jamie Goldstein, earlier this year. And you've seen that video? I have. It's... No one should have to watch that video, and no one should have to die that way. No one. And those children should not have lost their father. Separate from these lawsuits, WellPath is out of compliance in at least 43 areas at the jail, including mental health care, clinical staffing, and medical intake screenings, as well as chronic care. WellPath is facing sanctions of $25,000 for each area where they are out of compliance at Monterey County Jail. Earlier this year, WellPath and the county were given more time to fix their many problems. They now have a deadline of August 1st to make changes or be fined a million dollars. I'm Paul Dudley. Back to you. All right, Paul, thank you. The six wrongful death lawsuits are being pursued in court. Hearings and trials on these deaths likely to continue through at least 2025.